The consumer data right gives consumers the right to share their data with accredited data recipients, or ADRs, who can provide services with that data. For example, they may share information about their bank accounts and transactions, or their energy or telecommunication plans. This information is typically held by a company or other institution. In the CDR, this institution is called a data holder, or DH. When a consumer wishes to use the services of an ADR, they consent to sharing their information with the ADR. The ADR asks the consumer to give consent for data to be shared. The consumer gives consent. The ADR requests access to data from the DH. The DH asks the consumer to authenticate. The consumer authenticates with a one-time password. The DH requests the consumer to authorize sharing data with the ADR. The consumer authorizes data sharing. The DH shares the data with the ADR. The ADR can now provide the consumer with services using the data. An ADR cannot infer consent or rely on an implied consent. Consent must be voluntary, express, specific as to purpose, time-limited, and easily withdrawn. This describes consent from the consumer point of view and uses material from the Consumer Experience, or CX, guidelines. Consent, authentication, and authorization are described in the consent model which documents a number of stages and requirements. The CX guidelines demonstrate a suggested way to fulfill these requirements with wireframes or mock-ups of application screens. The first stage in the consent model is consent. The process begins in an app provided by the accredited data recipient. In the course of using the ADR services, the ADR requests the consumer to make a number of choices about data sharing. From what provider or data holder is data to be shared? What data is to be shared? The consumer must be fully informed of the implications of sharing data. The ADR requests consent for the minimum data required to fulfill the purpose and indicates the purpose of sharing the data. The ADR shows the duration of sharing. The consumer approves this before the consent process can continue. The ADR indicates how the consumer can manage sharing. More detail is provided if required. The ADR indicates how data will be handled when no longer required. More detail is available. The consumer is now able to give informed consent. When the consumer activates the consent button, the ADR redirects the consumer to the selected data holder for authentication. Authentication is the next stage in the consent model. Authentication uses the redirect with one-time password authentication flow. The data holder requests the identifier the consumer uses for regular online access with the data holder. The data holder sends the consumer a one-time password. The consumer enters the one-time password and activates 
the continue button. The DH authenticates the consumer. Authorization is the next stage in the consent model. The consumer authorizes the DH to share consumer data with the ADR. The DH asks the consumer to select the accounts from which they wish to share data. The DH requests confirmation. The DH displays each cluster of data requested and the sharing period. The consumer can view details of the shared data clusters and permissions given. When the consumer confirms authorization, they are redirected to the ADR app. When the consumer has completed the consent process, the ADR sends a message to the consumer to confirm that consent has been given and record the details. Consent management is the next part of the consent model. When a consumer has given consent for data sharing, they must be provided with the means to manage that consent by both the ADR and the DH. For this purpose, the ADR and the DH provide consumer dashboards. The consumer dashboard provides access to managing consent arrangements. The CX guidelines suggest that the consumer can locate consent details with a flow such as this. Choose to view data sharing. Choose data sharing arrangements. Choose an ADR and software product. Choose an active consent to view. Choose accounts, data requested, sharing period or consent history. For example, choose accounts for access to all accounts authorized in the consent. The ADR and the DH combine to provide the consumer with a transparent straightforward consent process. At all times, the consumer is fully informed of what they are sharing, for how long, and what consequences to expect. The consumer data right requires ADRs and DHs to provide consumers with access to sharing their data and with viewing and managing all details of consent. Consumers gain access to a wide variety of products and services while their data remains secure.